I know this is America, this is a free country, but even freedom has its limit, and this is not where you should be applying your freedom, putting jelly beans on a burger. <coughs> Hello everyone, today I'm going to introduce you to my favorite subreddit, Stupid Food. You all know me as a Stupid Food producer, and I did create a lot of monstrosity myself, I admit to that. However, whenever I go on the subreddit Stupid Food, I realize that my creations, they're just a joke compared to the gods in the Stupid Food subreddit. You know what, let's cut this introduction bullshit and just get into it. I have several questions about this thing. What the hell are they burning? Are they burning shredded paper? Hitting a folded chair? Trying to heat up tortillas? You know what? I gotta give plus one for the creativity. You gotta make two when you need two, and that's okay. I get that what they're trying to do, but I have a better solution. Just eat the tortillas cold. That'll be better than eating the chair's paint. Zero out of five. So this is just a very big pizza. It's unnecessarily big, but that's America. What do you expect? A small pizza? This shit is what I come to America for. This whole ass pizza that I can eat in five days. Why not? Nothing stupid here other than stupidly big pass. One out of five out of stupidity. Bad breath ramen. Wait, what is on the plate? I cannot see. But the toothpaste and toothbrush is looking suspicious. Natto, liver, onion, raw garlic, century egg, kimchi, stinky tofu, blue cheese, sauerkraut, juice, sura extract, asafoetida. What is asafoetida? I need to get closer. I don't know, this is what I'm talking about. This is the monstrosity that I, as a mere mortal, can never create. This is what only God is capable of creating, and only God is capable of consuming. What the hell is this? How do you even eat this? I gotta say, this has gotta be the epitome of stupid food. If the OP actually ate this shit, I'm going to straight up worshiping like a cult. I'm going to start a cult just for someone that is able to finish this thing. What the hell is that? Let's see what people say. Here is it. The guy actually ate the thing. Far. And his name is nutmeg on everything. But in the ingredient list, he didn't use nutmeg. So, 0 out of 5 in honesty. Next. Indiana breaded tenderloin. Why did you put the bread there? Why is the meat so big? And why is the bread on top of the meat? Is this supposed to be a sandwich? Far. Next. Back at it again with the lunch meat tacos. I think usually things are crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, but this one is reversed. Probably a good change of pace. I wouldn't eat it though. Zero out of five. In vegetables. You need more vegetables. Carrot. Meh. Century egg cheese egg from Moody Cow Cafe. Why? Why the fuck would you do this? I like century egg, but why the hell do you put in a cheesecake? But try it though. Century eggs are creamy after all. Maybe they go well, but fried anchovies on a cheesecake. Please go home. Finally, a video. You know what? Before even starting, seeing the smug face of this guy, I know this is going to be good. This reminds me of steamed pizza that I did. To be honest, it doesn't look that bad. I'm just pretty sure that once you bite into it, you'll be a soggy mess, similar to the steamed pizza. Hey, I am willing to try it. If you want me to try this, just leave a comment down below, okay? I might try it. I'm a pizza expert after all. I'm an expert on pizza war crimes. Ramen burger with kimchi, duck gravy, scallion cream cheese, crisp pork belly and the fried duck egg. How do you get so many duck products? Do you really stuck yourself? I can't imagine. How do you even eat this? If the soggy mess at the bottom is going to be a greasy mess when you pick it up. I feel the same with this. Oh, just seeing this make me make an angry face. Why 
is this like four separate sandwich or is this one sandwich? Because if it's one sandwich. Fuck. I don't know how to even start with what the fuck is this shit. How do we even eat it? Do you like squeeze really hard and all the Nutella just fall out? Or just go through the bread because the bread looks like it's super soft or maybe not maybe it's dry as fuck i don't know i'm biting into it we we'll just crack all your teeth off i don't know i don't even know why this just makes me angry makes me want to beat some people up but i can't because i'm a weak ass nerd that's why fuck the saucing upsets me the most i guess there's the bread on top onion rings cheese some ham fried chicken more ham cheese more cheese more fried chicken more bread. This is supposed to be a chicken sandwich, I suppose. Why? Hey, I know this is America, okay? But I don't know why. Americans keep making super tall burgers that is way bigger than what my mouth can do. Ah. Uh, hey, if we define what a mouth can bite to be one mouth, this burger has to be like 20 mouths. Is this designed for crocodiles? Or is it designed to be a javelin to be thrown into the Olympics. I know Japan is not too far away. We can eject this thing over the Pacific. No big deal. Just need to ask Elon Musk nicely for it. But I just don't know if Japanese will like it. I mean, the fried chicken and onion rings themselves doesn't even look bad. But why? Why stack them up as a burger? And why do you put cheese on them? You cannot eat the whole thing anyways. Why? I just hope there's a big hammer. Just smash the burger down so it becomes one mouth. Whatever. Zero out of five. This is Freedom Triple Decker Cheeseburger. I have been to America for quite several years. I have never understood Americans' obsession about getting diabetes and heart disease. Two donuts and three burgers. Come on, man. I think this is going to be delicious at the start, but when you finish this, you're going to drop that because of a heart attack. But this is Freedom, man. I wouldn't mind taking a bite from that thing, but more? No. I don't want to die. Not today. Boil your chips. Well, the flavor is already in there, kind of. Big barbecue. They're on sale? Yeah, instant so good. Oh. So now we're going to stream it. Because you need to get the extra juice out of this. Oh. Oops. Can I flatter you? A little bit. Flatter you? That's okay. Oh, it's almost so good. Oh. Spoons are helpful tools. <laughs> Thank goodness for spoons. Every potato is good. Absolutely. What the hell is the butter? Ah, ah. I don't even know why. I kind of want to cry now. How in the world does anyone want to? eat boiled potato chip. I mean, look at the end result here. I imagine the texture would be like boiled cereals, barbecue flavored porridges. I know I have boiled pita, all right? I'm not sure if I deserve to say this, but this looks like shit. You know what? Let's not pretend my boiled pita is better than this thing. But fuck this shit. I'm not going to eat it. Maybe. Perhaps. But to be honest, this shit is what I come to this subreddit for. Well, what else do I expect to find, right? This is the peak content that I'm looking for. People that are capable of doing food that are stupider than my food. Still will not eat this though. No. Toast sandwich. A toast sandwich is a British sandwich. British sandwich. Made with two slices of bread in which the filling is a thin slice of toasted bread. Which may be heavily buttered. It actually doesn't sound that bad. I can imagine. This is a poverty-induced sandwich. Probably someone that has nothing but bread and butter invented this sandwich. Out of necessity. I wouldn't call this stupid if bread is all you have, but if you have a choice, if you have other ingredients and you do this, I don't know. We show the best to you. But maybe a toasted bread, crispy on the inside, soft on the outside. Maybe it might taste like a chicken sandwich, only there's no chicken, there's only bread. And I hate bread. Zero out of five in toast store.
This, this right here is peak performance. According to the title, this is an egg sandwich. I see a little egg on the edge. So it's a waffle cone with an egg and ice cream. So basically a sundae with fried egg. Come on, man. I will eat this. To be honest, I will probably puke for 10 straight minutes just to get the greasy ice cream out of my system. Will not be worth it. Zero out of five. Fuck. Pilk dill pickle milk, 50% more salt than regular milk. That's exactly what I'm looking for when buying milk. Salt content. I can't become salty enough just consuming regular milk. It just gives me calcium, okay? Doesn't make me salty enough for all this shit that I'm watching. That I somehow opted in to watch. Fuck. High quality, 13 grams of pickle per serving. What's the difference between pickle juice and pickle milk? So apparently, according to the comments, pickle juice is very popular among Russians. I guess that's why they're so strong. They need to put up with this shit. Pickle juice. Come on. Fuck. Remember this piece. Your cell phone is 10 times dirtier than the toilet seat. This is what I imagine this to be like. Licking chocolate off of a toilet seat. Although I love chocolate, I will never lick chocolate off of a toilet seat. A friend went to a wedding where they had the guy handing out martini olive in a bathtub full of olives. Dude. Hey, I don't like olives already. You know what I don't like even more? A human flavored olive in my martini. It's fine to put olives in a bathtub. Why do you have to put a person inside of the bathtub? Are the olives going to taste like his food and his private parts? Think of that. I actually want to try that now. Next. Okay, the last one. Lucky Charm Burger. Posted by you, Devil Stone Cry, four days ago. Oh, he's not wrong. Whoever made this burger. I'm pretty sure that person doesn't cry a single day in their life. Not even a single day. Not even when they're a baby. Because whoever is capable of making this is a straight up murder assassin. Jelly beans and Cheetos. Is that Cheetos on a burger? And there's like four pieces of patty. Come on, man. I know this is America. This is a free country. But even freedom has its limit. And this is not where you should be applying your freedom. Putting jelly beans on a burger. I might try that one day, but on a pizza. I hope Italians will not catch me. I don't live in Italy, so that's okay. Okay, this is this concludes today's stupid food review. I don't know why. I feel like I gained 10 pounds just by looking at this subreddit. So I'm now going to burn it off. If you enjoyed the video, please smash like and subscribe now so I can burn off all the sugar I get from watching this subreddit. Alright, see you.